Have you ever been looking up on a sunny day and noticed little specks drifting and wiggling and zipping around in your vision? Now, some of these are just bits of gunk floating across your eye, but some of them are something much more special that you can only see when you're looking at a bright blue light like the sky. Next time it's sunny, look up and see if you can see tiny bright white dots. At first, they look like sparks or pinpricks. And then as you look longer, you realize that each spark lives for about a second. And in that second, it moves along a little curly path and then pops out of existence. Each one of those sparks is an individual white blood cell moving through your eye. See, at the back of your eye, you have this tangled web of blood vessels that get infinitesimally narrow. Most of the things moving along these vessels are red blood cells, and they're also tiny, so they're fine. But every now and then, a white blood cell comes along, and it's about twice as big, and it moves along, and when it gets to the very narrow tubes, it gets stuck, and it has to squish and wiggle its way through. And if you're looking at a bright light, you can see it getting stuck there because the white cell is almost transparent. It lets this little pinprick of light shine through. They're called blue sky sprites, if you like whimsical names for things, or Shearer's blue field entoptic phenomenon, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the incredible fact that we can watch individual cells move through our bodies, blue sky sprites show us a couple of really surprising things. First, they show us that our eyes are back to front. That explanation I gave about light shining through white blood cells only makes sense if the bit that detects the light is behind all these blood vessels. From a design perspective, this seems crazy. It means that light has to go all the way through this tangled mess before it gets to the bit that can register it. But this is how eyes work, at least in mammals and birds. If you were an octopus, your eye would be the right way round, and you wouldn't see blue sky sprites. The other surprising thing they show us is that we can see our own immune systems fighting disease. About 10 years ago, some scientists gave uh, a group of people a very small dose of E. coli, just enough to trigger an immune response which means that the body generates more white blood cells. And those people could see about 50% more blue sky sprites while they were fighting the E. coli bacteria than they could before. For me, though, blue sky sprites are a reminder that science is not essentially about high-tech equipment or complicated data analysis. At its heart, science is about looking closely. Even our most frivolous and personal experiences gazing up at the sky on a sunny day can, if we pay close attention, turn out to contain these whole worlds of new knowledge. Thank you. <laughs>